Hello everyone, and I am here again revisiting Fears of Fathom Woodbury Getaway. Last time I played Iron Bark, and uh, kind of want to get back in. I wanted to take a break from Black Myth Wukong. Ah, uh, kind of getting a little addicted. Anyhow. Yeah, anyhow, um, so I have a lot of video footage to edit that goes when it comes to Black Myth Wukong and Persona 3. Those are not the main focus. So this game came out yesterday, and I'm gonna start get into it. Get into playing it. Anyhow, um, if you hear any background noises, that is my, that is my fan, and I am sorry about that, um. So, late time, two hours. Okay. Two hours. Well, let's do it. New game. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Need a coffee to get <laughs> ah. Sorry about that, I'm not feeling too well. Get up. A coffee. And soda. To be a coffee machine. Ah, there it is. You know, um, I need water. So how do you guys feel about coffee? Like in general, I don't drink this. I don't drink it personally. It just doesn't seem appealing to me. You put a lip. We need to use the restroom supply room. <laughs> I may cut this part out because not really. I'm pretty sure nobody really wants to see me. Well, we're in here. Go use the restroom. Well, it won't allow me, so I'm not gonna get.
I doing something wrong? Come on, at least put some... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, okay. Jeez, I'm trying to... At least put some toilet tissue. At least put some toilet tissue around the toilet seat. Like, that's nasty. That's nasty. <laughs> Sorry, didn't know anyone was here. Yeah, 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 it's okay. I'm so sorry. I should have knocked before I came in, but there wasn't any usual. Yeah, but there isn't usually anyone here this late. It. It's fine. Again, I'm sorry. You, I usually do knock it, but I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. Why are you frustrated? Rookie's drunk car. It's not happening. Sorry. Is there any reason the barn? There's trash cans all over the office. Act like an adult. Sorry. Well, I need to get back to it. Don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. I don't get that. <laughs> Life a little easier for you, so I'll take this and uh, there you go. trying to call yourself for the last two hours it just keeps going to voicemail is everything all right oh snap i was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me <laughs> uh, no even i'm just kidding <laughs> um uh, anyway uh what are you still doing at work it's Getting kind of late. Yeah, that's more. Oh, damn, time. Harp, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. Yeah, it's going no worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Hey, I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. <laughs> oh, uh, wait, one more thing. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. 
Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. All right, talk to you later, Harp. All right, let me see if I can book this. Um, I call it. Let me just oh. oh rent a cabin dot com. I was about to type in hotel or something. Just search. Something uh, under a hundred dollars, he said. So, this one. Qu question Is any. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds of. If, the, if not a thousand of these stories sent daily. So, I'll give you the basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of this is written weird, but I was rushed. When I was er in my early 20s, I worked in a big, big counseling firm in my city. Life at the firm was consistent juggle of deadlines and client meetings and trying to prove my worth. Which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but the expenses of my mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper, and the story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends and Mike suggested we take a weekend getaway to a rural in Vermont. Which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend Nora was a quick jump on board as well. My plan was simple. We ran a small cabin, close our shifts early on Friday, and leave, leave and get, be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up two days later. Has anybody ever rented a cabin? How is it? Ah, I see you got the PSP. I've seen you and ha seen you around, but haven't had the chance to introduce myself. I'm Gail. Yeah, I'm test for right? How'd you know? Yeah, just seeing you a few times getting off at the 10th floor when I'm home late from work. You do for work. Oh, software engineer. Oh, you constantly from downtown. Oh, uh, I see. Anyways, hope you have a great rest of your day. I need to get some groceries before the show starts. Alright, you too. So you got the p Got the p See, he has the PSP. Oh, yes, it's Parker. Garage. How do you guys feel about the PS5 Pro? Pretty sure most of you are mad about it. Ah, there's mine. That's still how you hug people. I'm joking, I'm joking. That's me. That's a, you're not. Why not? You look good. Uh, thanks for picking me up. Don't have any other way. 
It would be nice to have company on the way. We all try friends back so many memories. This bad boy has been through a lot. You can just throw your stuff in the back. It will be on our way. But my original question was... Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. My original question was... Uh, Alright, heart. You ready to hit the road? Uh... Where's Nora? She will meet us there. We're after the city. Wood. Oh, hold on. Been a detour for her anyway. Alright. Yeah, Alright. Okay, we're good. But yeah, my, my original question was, has anybody ever rented out a cabin? How is it li how is it staying in the morning? Four twenty six PM. They're starting to snow. Park, isn't it weird we used to dream about escaping our cop? And then colleague and now we're he now here we are trying to escape from life we wanted to live I know that works change is hard like trying to adjust to the new, new job so we get the jobs how's it going so far a new job going. We're working on this project that would use machine learning to predict marketing trends. It's a pretty kind of edge stuff. Sounds like you're sharp sharpening the future. Not what quite Tony's Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. Marvel not. Marvel reference, um, you know, what, what, did you see that school bus, see what, oh, uh, there was a school bus back at the home house, maybe it's a project, you know, someone's idea of turning into, into a tiny home on wheels or something, I read people do that on the internet. Huh. Oh, that was close. You know? Around the internet, the Native Americans lore is seeing the deer across your path. It's like getting a massive message from the universe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have, a, I have a few encounters with deers on the road. I see them cross the road. We just let them, I just um let them pass. We just wait until they uh, pass by. Okay, check my phone. Okay, yes, that's true. How far is it? We, it's about an hour from and a half from here. You know. Driving through the snow, kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. What do you mean? The way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights, it's like, please look at the road. It's like the stars and galaxies are rushing past us. Ah. Okay, now let me see what the have to say. Yes. Dang, man, man, I gotta read the message. I'll make sure everything's far right. It's kind of beautiful. Okay, okay, now, okay, now can I read? By 14 p.m. Check out 
not check that out? Or what am I looking at? Moe's Pizza. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. Pizzeria is exactly where it, it appeared on my on uh, my um GPS. It's like living in the future. So hungry I think I could eat a whole pizza by myself. Me too. Alright. And Harper. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. recommended to stay indoors and keep warm during this time. Let's check in with our field reporter. How's the weather out there, Phil? Oh, it's so cold out here. I, I can't feel my hands, okay? Like, the studio should have really brought some snow gear. All right. Strong with snowstorm. Evening, folks. Looks like the cold got everyone craving pizza tonight. You know what I'm for. You know... You find folks know what what to eat. We're gonna get three slices each and with pepperoni cheese and ve veggies. I don't speak for me, man. I, I just ingredients. Uh, I don't know. What's the most? Okay, just cheese, uh, pepperoni. What's the most special? Let me try. Any drinks? That's a cover. Just a pizza. Okay, thanks. Alright, guys. Six hot slices coming right up. That'll be 2250. Man, I can't eat a pizza right now. Your order number is 27. Just grab a seat and we'll call you up when your pizza is ready. I really could eat a pizza right now, but uh, not really feeling too well. I don't really want to eat anything that'll make my thickness worse. See? Wow. It smells good down here. Yeah. Who's this? Yes. Oh, oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is, one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I've got to keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it, and be on my way. I'm sorry, you guys. No, be careful. Please be careful. I hate that you're leaving so late. Drive slow, and don't worry. I'll make sure your carp stays up. So she's gonna be kind of late. Her loud now. You know, since I know voice message in the group. Yeah, just now. Looks like she'll be late. Uh, that's better. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What can we do? Don't act, don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. No, really, what, what do you mean? The 
this pizza is slapped. Can't believe Nora's missing out on this bomb. Bomb of a pizza. About right. to eat the crust. Uh, yeah, I eat, uh, eat the crust time to time. You have stuffed crust. That might be a controversial uh, statement, but I, I, I'm just kind of still leaving here. Yes, but we're really but you wouldn't really eat a peel uh, orange would you I mean that they are completely different things Hello there. I saw you pull it into the driver in that nice old truck. Uh, are you? Oh my friends, I just noticed you just seem to be heading in the same direction I was. Y'all mind if I hitch a ride with you? Uh, where's your car? Oh, who needs a car when there are fine friends like you to pass the time with? Wow. 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 Okay. Uh, hold. Hold on. No. No. Please. Y'all wouldn't even know I was there. Quiet as a church mouse. And this place is nice. I'm sorry, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, buddy, I don't even know you. Surely you can find this a little room for me. It's my friend's card. Sorry. You gotta be. Ah. There's a middle seat. Are you scared of me or something? Sorry. You ain't too kind, are you? Are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You must be careful out there. Are you th y Yes, finally. Yeah, the, finally. Like, I don't know this guy. Why did you ask us for a ride? What the heck is wrong with you? No, no, no. You got me all wrong. Usually I am just cold and tired. Oh. Yeah, please leave. Go. go, go. Yo, I don't know what's wrong with you. That was weird. Yeah. He didn't even order anything. Now hold on. So I'm keeping an eye on that guy because I don't know what. Because I don't know what he's gonna poke out our tires and says have some random tool in our bag and then. I mean in his bag and then just say get up holy that was good all right And beat the worst of the snow. Alright, in any case. Oh, the weather is awful. Why don't I just drive the. Oh, wait, oh. Uh, I can drive. You can, you can take a break. Eh? I'm afraid what, of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. Maybe you made the case. 
Okay, fine. Hey, buddy, 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 buddy. There, there's more. There's so much space right here. Just, just, just go. Just go over there. Just go over there. Fine. But there's one condition. What is it? I get first choice of bedroom, or if we get there. Yeah. You had the uh, You had all of there. This is getting a little hot. Well, I did turn on quiet mode, so that's what I'm gonna get. Ooh, 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 that is hot. Good evening, Vermont. This is your host on WKWB, your hometown station, bringing you the best tunes to warm your hearts on this chilly night. As we are hey, the the season, yeah, um, like sorry, a I'm song to set the mood. So here's a track right, that'll make you feel track. right at home. Coming up next, Be Sincere by Neb and Bogus. Stay warm and stay tuned. Okay, I see what's in that for. I gotta change uh, my uh I gotta change my yeah, I was trying to change my settings. I don't wanna talk about what's on the line. I'm pitching me up on the mic, spitting what I like. I've been reminiscing on friends I miss it. Maybe I can find them if it's still in my distance. Like I don't need shit with but come on man, be sincere. We're gonna be here a hundred years, so let's appear all night I do not make a good driver. Okay, I'm on the right in just a sec. Step into my room, be with bloody lips, saying that she loved me but never really did. Maybe I should go walk over the mountains, find a new home away from where the town is. I could spend a year alone and never miss a song. Well, usually I gotta turn off the music because I'm afraid it's copyright, but in the beginning of the game said. No, uh, music is copyrighted. It's a good time to start. So I guess I'll leave this on. Good time to start. Good time to start. Sunset dreams on the nights that I never knew. Heart feels warm. The trees only seem to bloom. And I laughed, running all the way to you. This place, but the town don't want me here. Where's my lunch money? Where right, my right. table? Where are with her? I will never know. Where's a good girl? Doesn't wear a mask. Where's a best friend? I'm sorry, he stinks. I need time from the hills and the monsters. I feel like one day I'll have a daughter. Name her rose with beauty like her mother. I'll wait for the day. Bring me home. I could spend a year alone Is and never miss a soul. I could try my hardest and I'll never reach my goals. I know that I think I think the address was. I didn't want to change, but I think that today is a good time to start. Alright. I need time, I need remedies lately 
Clothes got holes and I miss your pasties Maybe if I come back when everyone is sleeping Walk along the streets like we did on the weekend I keep a ride on my side I like the words out of mouth Seems to light up my life I'm connected to a heart like the Just one in the tides the size no one can take a rub and out of my life Bro, I think the words keep come together yeah. well, and that's no coincidence Trying to be the best that I could be without no wishing that Feeling like a plane trying to soar in the sky But without you feel so hesitant, I can't lie I'm trying to be a million Okay, alright, hold on, yeah Alright, your PC's getting a little hot I gotta turn on the perform Creepy music. I just put the keys in all. First of all, why is the keys in the lockbox? Why don't you? in the lockbox, so... Step into my room. Oh, that, that lockbox. Ah. Uh, nice mad trick there, Mike, so... Let's put this down. Cozy. Great place. I know we could count on you. Okay. Smells nice. Right, but I really need to hit the John. Take your time. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Sure. Wait, I already thought we were staying where right? like you know what? Never mind. Sure. 
Now it seems cozy and furnished, well furnished. Sorry about that. Yeah, are you okay? I'll drive it in a piece of really left the number on me. Thanks for handling that heart. Anyway, this place looks cozy. Nice. It's got that uh rustic charm you just don't see anymore. Yeah, for sure. I you need to be right back. You go ahead. I'll start to unpack our bags. Uh, let me just get bring it up now. Doing better after that drive? Yeah. Much better. Ready to check out the place? Yeah, let's see what they have after you. Well, I've already been in the kitchen, so I don't want to go outside. Mm -hmm. bigger than my apartment. Ah, it's Zoe Trope. In this room. Looks like a computer with a game. Looks like another TV the near with a game console. Looks like an Atari. Why is there an Ouija board here? I don't mess with a me. I do not like Ouija boards. And if you know, and if you know anything about Ouija boards, you know they are no good. Wait, what are you doing? I'm not going outside. Shit. Okay. 
can't wait to cook in here later. And you start cooking. Uh, I'm probably surprised it's wink. Yeah. Alright, let me check upstairs. Alright, closet full of. As a cooler, flashlight. What the picky music? I was exploring the house. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Look into my home, sweet home. Now, what is a lovely young couple doing here? We're just friends. Oopsie daisy, silly me. Who says that? We didn't expect anyone to be here. Ooh, um. I was looking out for my cat earlier, and I remember the TV has been on a fritz here. I thought I'd stop by and try to get it to working. Again, since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they treat you, your guests, like family. My family doesn't go without a TV. Rick. So what, you're a pair man? Speaking of that. Now that you folks are here, let me show you around there, huh? Around my sweet home. Alright. I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give a grand tour. Okay, uh I mean Oh, so it's a middle-aged man who had nervous energy. Here's the shit your shower that's like that's the thing that'll make you feel like you're bathing under waterfall. Amazing jungle. Amazon ju Amazon jungle. I don't know why I just say. I was just saying it doesn't work unfortunately. But the worries I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me know the other bed. So yeah, there are more bedrooms. In here. Look, our, this room has has a nice view. You think that's nice, Mister? Just wait until I show you the deck. Follow me, please. So you're the homeowner. This is incredible. Incredibly cold. What the frick? Glad right, you like it. It's my favorite spot of the view. The creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing, too. Alright, let's head back in before I catch a cold here. It's already too late for me. I don't know. I'm already stuck with a cold, and it's summer. That's surprising. There's the storage room. You need anything? Tools, blankets, whatnot. All in here. If the power grab is out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. The storms like these you have never known. Thanks. Alright, folks, let's head downstairs now. I mean, we can't explore most of the house, but okay. Hey folks, I see you uh, already stocked up on food in the fridge. Uh, I need to open it right. See the knob turned up, knob up from more cooling, and it turned and down to, to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter since the bills get out of control. Speaking of the winter, better show you folks the water heater. Um, 
a little more about down here. Just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. Pilot light will fire right up and you will be back in business. Hey sir, what's the deal over there? That room? Nothing you need to be concerned yourselves with. Can I use this basement as storage? The renters don't need the uh, space, so they are, they are a keep upstairs. Okay, I was just curious. Ooh. Oh, I think that NyQuil is starting to take its toll. Oh, did I not mention? Well, no, maybe I, I keep it to myself. The fella that bought this house from, well, told me that his mother died down here. I guess, the, yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, there we go. Somebody died in this house, so. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So I guess I'm going to report here in place of the night so that could be hear something shuffling around down here. Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I'm gonna step down here. <laughs> the looks on your face. Come on now. I'm just joking. I'm not really a joke, I really don't want to deal with the poltergeist. I broke the snow and started to pick up. I'm gonna hit the rock. Oh, yeah, that night. Oh, yeah, that night quill is, uh. Yeah, it's taking a toll. Thanks for showing us around. By the way, what was the name on that booking? Must have been. It's beginning old. It's Sydney. Yes. Uh, Ah, Sydney, that's right. Pretty name for a pretty girl. Let me uh, just do super weird here. Hey, how let's go see if there's anything good on TV. And I'm gonna take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something downstairs. Do you know? Do you know? If it feels like a. Yonder a waterfall. What a weird guy. Alright, see, thanks, see you in a bit. Can I hit the bed? I don't want to hit. Look at this out. A fishing. I found a fishing rod in that shed. Plan to catch dinner. Now that you have mentioned that, it would have been pretty epic addition to the trip. I don't know, it's too cold in here. Oh, come on. What would be. 
would make this trip more epic than catching our own freaking dinner. I guess it could be fun. Well, apparently there's another spit rod in this shit. Really? Bro. It is the middle of the night. Come on, just give it a break. Kill a recipe for baked carp. I'm a bit today. You actually come out to stand up when throwing your when swinging your uh, fishing rod. Cat's heart, but yeah, in the fourth part, you might want to swap out the bait. I think the big was kind of went for a part.
Alright, fine, I'll look for some. I'll look for carp bait. Just for you, Mike. Just for you. segment out because I don't know. Just one more. Cup loving, you got this. Bad call too soon. Looks like you got 30 carps. Do you want to keep that back? And throw these in the oven? Yeah, let's do it. Snowing in the middle of the. I mean, fishing in the middle in the snow? Yeah, I mean, I know there are some people that do do it, but I mean, first time they really do. do these things I think is most likely during times where it's actually pretty warm. Alright, I'm playing in the car. Do you mind prepping them they I shall have to. Let's take a bowl of ginger. Oh, your yeah, horses, the fish will be right.
No, it's just, uh, I'm gonna, I never really ate, eat fish. I don't know, personal, re personal reasons. Olive oil. Now, where is that? Now, where is the olive? That's cornflakes. Take up our olive oil. Ah, there we go. Alright, it's all ready. You might go on the fish and um, urinate in the casserole while I get. Are those lemon? Okay. Only minutes at four hundred. So all right. Those carbs are going to taste amazing. Well, we wait. Gonna cook. How about we play some board games? Which one? Just grab one. Can't you see? All right. Let me see. There are board games here. All right. Quill's doing it. Uh, not Night Quill, Day Quill. But I am feeling a little perhaps drowsy. sacrifice Jenga or just this or just to be safe stack tower Ooh, stack tower nice choice it's been an ages since I played this let's see how the steady those hands are
That day quill is darned. Yep. Yep, that day quill is doing its job. Seriously, I kind of just want to get back into the horror aspect. Okay, are we done? <coughs> yeah, I'm, you know, I'm not. Alright, it's. Alright, uh. So I'm done playing Jenga. Let's leave it at that for now. I know. Friend game. Should be just about done. Let's grab some plates and s just grab some plates. I'm starving. Yeah, too close, Mike. I think our show is about to come on. There's a crouch feature, but all right. King the chocolate. Take a couple cocoa beans. Ah, uh, yes, the cocoa beans need to be blended into the sauce with a little bit of vinegar. Gotta keep that fancy flavor in there. The next thing we prepare is the mayonnaise. We stir fry this in a pan with Irish tofu. I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna taste like shit. But here you are anyway, listening to my cooking instructions. This is the bream of the mayonnaise. Um. We, we gotta inject it with a little anesthesia to make sure it doesn't revolt against us. It gets very angry once it knows we're trying to cook it. Well, well, After doing that, we mix all the ingredients wait, together I I in a tray and place it inside the oven. Oh, 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 hold up. I think I recognize the okay, voice. And while that's cooking, we can start on the appetizer. 
gasoline soaked ramen. Now this dish is extremely what? hard to make. A dish only for experienced cooks. <laughs> it requires a lot of patience and skill. What you will need I could be wrong. is gasoline and ramen. This dish really soothes the soul. Almost like a high-end cleanse. We begin by pouring the gasoline into this pot. Make sure not to use whole gasoline since it's really bad for you. Maybe use 2% or half and half. Do not use diesel. So after letting the gasoline come to a boil, we can put in our ramen. I'm using some stuff I found in my grandmama's basement. But you can use whatever kind you like. This ramen will taste fantastic. Once the gasoline fully soaks into the noodles, it's actually kind of scientific. Bill Nye who? <laughs> the gasoline molecules merge with the noodle molecules, and they taste very good. Now that this is cooking, we can check on our cake. Um, uh, if your oven <clears throat> catches on fire, uh, make sure to put it out with the fire extinguisher. Well, damn. Uh, uh, damn, that's burnt. Uh, I I'm not eating this. But, but, but not to worry. I know someone who will. Yo, Grandma! Yo, I made you food! That's no, no, them. no, it's not, it's not poison. It's not poison. <laughs> it's all about the easy. Goodbye, Grandma. And stay in your room. I want you watering around the house again. Get back in there! Okay, I'm glad she ate that up. <laughs> I wouldn't want any food to go to waste. Anyways, I guess we can still enjoy our gasoline. Yeah, check my emails real quick. Which is ready to serve. I, my I hope y'all enjoy eating this as much as I do. <laughs> Cricket with Jeffrey from Weezy. I knew it. Michael J. Carter. Heading down that way, pulling into the parking garage. No, you downstairs yet? I think someone's under my bed. Can you? Upstairs right now. Why the car out here? Parking. Why is it parking in front of me? Something stupid. Maybe I'm just doing something stupid. I'm. Right, you're lucky. My bullets are the half of my charm, heart. Don't mess them up. I only got you. Yeah. 
Alright, come on. Come on, it's just a little chill. Yeah. Next round. I'm out of game of hide and seek. I guess you're back for this. Are you say Sydney Harper? Alright. Now count up to 10. Yeah, actually, I was exactly thinking the same thing. I was going to go in there. Okay. Oh, yeah, the basement's over here. I don't know how I forgot the last layout, but. Ooh, Somewhere up. I decided to hide under the stairs. Let me lower down my mic. I figured you would. I figured you would have been good at this since I never found you in a city. They must be really these guys must be really close. <coughs> be comfortable playing games like this. Outside in the backyard. First.
want to check the balcony. Upstairs. Okay, there. Really, I heard something climbing up the stairs. You didn't hear it? No, I did not. I swear I ran alive. I heard something. I see this attic access door in here. So many stuff in there. Open the door. Mm. So you must be a stray. That doesn't like. I like cats and dog. I like both. Early. I was worried there were for a minute. Uh, I'm seeing this hungry. Yeah, I'm getting rid of that on the car right after I uh, come, come and find you again. <coughs> Who said enough? Are you correct? In this cold weather, what is wrong? How are the places you hide in here? Turn to choose. Oh, I'm getting tired. I'll hide in the house. Where? Headed back anyway. Find me and you'll. And we'll go to bed.
Oh, it's going off. Oh, okay. Oh, hello, man. Look, I already saw what he was doing with that hammer, so I'm not gonna ask. What? Well. He's already, he's repairing the thing, but, you know, I'm just gonna say, why are you back here? Oh, it's in the faucet. You got a problem with that? Fix our fossil with a hammer. Yeah, that is weird. Where's. Yeah, that is weird. Yeah, we're fixing many fossils to yourself, young man. Didn't think so. Imagine you don't know what tools you need. Yeah. Don't you want to like that? Don't trouble me at all. Around the block, it. I told you I get the same fix for you real soon. No, no, he's being polite. We rented this this house and would like to have it to ourselves, and really don't want to have to call law enforcement. Well, that's a well, he worded better for me. I know cops and was very so That's not good. That's not good. I think they're going to arrest the homeowner just fixing it. Yeah, that is true. He's just doing his job, but if you can't handle that, it's it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If folks don't let me fix it, I'll leave the faucet, I'll leave you to it. Let me lock the door. Yeah, please do that. You know, matter of fact, make sure he fully leaves and does not stop by the car to damage it with that hammer. After locking the door, we debate what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seems like he enjoyed making excuses for to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird but probably harmless. We attribute his behavior to extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But this time I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. 10:39 p.m. It's been a strange day. Do you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like. Wait, so if he's a homeowner, wouldn't he have a spare key? I mean, I, I mean, this was like. <coughs> no. 
that's on the point. You know exactly what I mean about that. I mean, he just, he shouldn't just barge in the place whenever he wants. He rented the, the house. I mean, the guy is, is probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. A little late, Mike. Um, how about I just, you know, get the door for you and, well, you still gotta be here? I'm afraid what this is gonna turn into. Let it be a rape scene. Please do not let it be. <laughs> Alright, you know, I miss this. Just us talking. It's too long. Nope. I'm not gonna sleep alone tonight. We had a lot of drink, things happen. Save her. Oh, that's a mess. Yeah, it did. I'm hoping maybe they'll do it again. Yeah, yes, sir. See this guy is a friend. This is my. You just want me to worry about the eight tails in there. I don't think this is a good time. Okay, what, what's going on? Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury, and my stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing, and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep, and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? Time is but I guess we can't leave. Can't leave Nora stranded. No, we can't. We better get ready. I said, "Let me sit here and get this sleep." Uh, really not. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Bring your pajamas. I'm still dressed. You just settle in and I'll help Nora. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. We just finish talking about this later, okay? Just get some get some good rest and stay warm. If you really feel like we we have to You know, I wonder if that cat is still in the attic outside. I don't really get to give it the fish. Uh, 
I'm going to get some rest while I'm gone. Don't worry. I do even in worse. Besides, Thor's probably freaking out more than you right now. You're probably right. But make sure you take care of yourself, alright? Fuck all the doors. You invite me? Drinks, get them. Uh, right, drive safe. <coughs> Alright, there's no option for me to lock the doors. I guess the fi I guess I lost access to the fish. If I just get some rest, all right. Always knew how to cheer me up, and I need it more than by the minute. We're driving soon. I decided to rest in the meantime. Rick. And I'm, I'm coming. I was that to run? I wish we could run a little faster. To... Wait, hold on. I saw you there, my friend. Please open the door. I'm freezing cold. Oh no! Is this the guy from the pizza joint? Uh. It is him. I knew it. Yo, what the heck? Yo, you got nothing better to do. in the basement. Why is he here? Bro, can you go away? You don't belong here. Oh. 
Go away! Look, my friend. Look, friend, I know it ain't ideal banging on the do your door in the middle of a bad night, but I'm, I am in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride with some friends, but, uh, they're running behind and won't be here for more than two hours. You're not coming in, no! No, what? You were kind of. I. No, what? I don't trust you. I don't know you. Why would I let you in? Are you. You see? Hey. I said, no, you'd be a big. What? Well, back up. First of all, why would we just offer a ride to someone we don't even know? I don't. And we're now seeing you, who you really are. You're just. You're not making it. You're not helping your case, man. I'm not even gonna let you in. I think you. I didn't see you and your little boyfriend finishing the. Finishing in the creek early. So you were watching us. I figured I maybe give you give you give me a chance this time, but it looks like you're still unkind. Ah, we can't even call we can't even call the cops. See, the guy, the homeowner said that there was no there was no cop there was no cops. Please just leave. Oh, you see, even he knows. Speaking of, I don't see your fellow's truck here either. I don't know what I want to find. Did yourself. What? I got weirdo? In the basement. Let me t but let me tell you something. You get what's coming. It's coming to you for leaving me out here. How am I to... Yeah, I'm calling the cops. I, I, I don't feel safe sleeping. Sleeping is because one, the guy has a bag. I don't know what's in that bag, or I don't know what he's gonna do. That's just, I just put that in there just in case. Just in case I need to make a quick run to the going on? Yo, get up! Come on, get up, get up, get up! Rip inside the body, but can you come back out of this? There's somebody driving you. There's somebody we met driving down here, and you were hanging out like you weren't starting to get scared. I'm here moving around outside the house, can you please come? But you lose a little so, so close.
don't know if that's you, but I'm gonna crouch first. Ah. What's going on in here? Ah, I got you. You just might have seen something. Could have been anyone or no one at all. Yeah, this angle is, uh, as quickly as I can. I don't even worry about him. So, we're gonna keep an eye on you. By the way, where's your friend? The, the guy who was with you earlier? Hmm. So, you know, um... Yeah, okay. Are all kinds of folks. Not all of them are going to stay away. Friends, go on the What's up? Oh, uh, thanks for coming. Uh, you can. You can have that. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. This is my house. I will leave when I want to. I want what what's mine. This house and you. And you're trespassing. And you need to leave right now. Oh, I don't think so. Okay, there's an axe outside, so we can try and grab that. <laughs> and if anyone is leaving this house, it'll be one. Oh! Faster! Faster! 